video here. In this video, I'm gonna try, well, I'm not gonna try, I am going to get these balance shafts in, and then maybe a couple of the accessory brackets or something, I don't know, or maybe just go to the timing right after that. It's making me nervous, but I've read, I've read through the book like probably 50 times now for all the timing and balance shafts. So just getting myself mentally prepared to do the job, which really isn't all that big of a job. I'm just being a baby about it. But in this box here, which should be my AC bracket delete, something I waited a while to order. Um, all it does is take place of where the AC, um, not condenser, but it's the motor, was. And it's just a little idler pulley. It's freaking expensive. It's dumb. I paid $376 just for this. So just to save the couple pounds I did with removing the AC, I bought this bracket. It cost me almost $400. Kind of freaking dumb, but whatever. There she is. It's bought. It's paid for. It's done. I don't got to think about it ever again. Yeah, so there's that. And then over here, we got my direct injectors back uh, from a place called RC Fuel Injection. Shout out to my homie, Ryan. Uh, he's the one that told me to go with these guys. I called some people in Texas and they didn't want to put new seals on it for me and told me to send my seals back and just pay them for their seals. And I was like, that's dumb. I'm not doing that. So I called these guys. And they're like, yeah, just, it'll actually be cheaper to do since you're sending new seals with it. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. I forget how much I paid. Let me see here. I paid $114.50, including shipping, out to them. And they should include a... Oh, that's actually... Yeah, that's really nice in the back. I should have held it up. It was all neat and organized, but... Um, should have included in here. Oh, they gave us... Stickers, got what, at least two stickers from them. Um, little bag labeled with old parts. So this is my old, this is actually really neat. That's awesome of them. We got the old uh, like Teflon seals in there you see. And then uh, I guess that's another type of Teflon. I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't have the tool for it. So it worked out. Bought them brand new from Shop Bat. Just shipped them with them with the injectors. And uh, now these babies should look brand new. Let me pull one out here. They package just real nice. Shout out to these guys. I should hit them up and try and get like a little thing going and get you guys like a discount there or something. It's rebuild season. I know a lot of you guys out there rebuild. Oh, dang. They shine this baby up. All right. They even put a cap on it for me. Look at that. Come on. Focus. There we go. Thing looks brand new. Very nice. Hell yeah. So I'll put that back in. I'll look at the other three off camera. Let's see what it said for uh, oh, this one. I probably don't even know how to read this shit. So I'll show it to you guys. You can maybe pause on that. Probably looks like ass. Well, they all say excellent, so that's probably good. backwards on camera I don't know let me read this and get back to you so this right here is mostly what you want to look at before the pattern before cleaning dripping dripping fair fair this one only had 88 cc's a minute 119 164 137 after it got cleaned 169 170 171 171 they're all excellent so definitely worth it I don't really know what any of this other stuff means on um, total system pounds I guess I don't know but Bunch of numbers and stuff. Definitely worth it, I think. $114, so. All right, guys, back here the next day. Didn't get a chance to work on the engine all last night, but I pretty much have all day to mess around. Uh, girlfriend may have pulled a muscle in her back, so we're not going to the gym today, and that's fine by me, because I'm motivated. Um, it's a little warm today. All the snow's mountain. You guys haven't seen the dogs in a minute. Apex! <laughs> Apex! There he is. Big boy, what's up, dude? All right, get down, get down, dirty paws. Jesus, guy. What are you doing? What's up? YouTube hasn't seen you in a while. Yeah, you're getting big. A little over six months now. Sit, sit, sit. 
Hey, get down. Sit. What are you doing? Yeah, see, you're silly. Sit. Boy, if you don't shake, good boy. What are you doing, Jay-Z? Huh? You got my camera all wet. Are you a good boy? Are y'all good boys? Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's get to work. All right, so here we are back out in the garage. I've been, last hour I've been matching up the part numbers for the bags of stuff that I have. Obviously it doesn't say where exactly it goes. I've been trying to look those up online and bounce them to my buddy Alan. Uh, shout out to him. I've been bugging the shit out of him for this. He's doing his engine build at like the same time. It actually, he's done. So I get to bother him with a bunch of questions and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out where all the hardware goes, trying to kick my butt into really getting organized here and get shit done. But he was telling me I won't be able to do the timing at all unless I have a way to move the cams, which I didn't. So I ordered that tool from FCP. That'll be here Monday. Um, I ordered the ARP crank pulley bolt. It'll be here next week as well. Um, but I can't, I, I gotta have the cam cover back to do timing stuff because obviously you gotta hold the cams down and rotate them and this and that TVC so I'm gonna try and at least get the chains in cam sit down on there chains on just have it ready I'm also gonna try and put you see I got my alternator out here um, my oil filter bracket thing this all oh, now I see where those bolts go um, and uh, the AC delete so I'm gonna try and get all that bracketry on Besides the alternator, probably. Um, balance shafts in, some chains on. See how far we get. Kind of got ahead of myself here. Just kind of place this bracket on the engine very loosely. I need to replace the gasket and the hardware, but I wanted to make sure that this uh, AC delete lined up right and I didn't need any washers or anything. Make sure I didn't bottom out into the block or something. So that's all I need to rotate, loosen this up. Rotate that, make sure this is tight, that's tight. Um, got a knock sensor that needs to go in right there. I need to replace this. I know I got a, a replacement one in there. I need to dig out the seals for that. Um, yeah, I didn't loosen these up, so those should be fine. Tensioner seems to be tensioning. Nice. I apologize if the video's all over the place, because I know it will be. Um, yeah, so here's this old gasket off. Oh, she's stuck. She's seen some heat. Oh, yeah, she's in there good. Rub that baby off. We'll clean her up. Doesn't look like anything's in there, really. You know, that mating surface. We'll get some, uh, which McCall on there, brake clean. Got a brand new gasket to throw on. And we'll lock this baby down. Oh, I should have recorded it, but I didn't. The bracket's on. AC delete bracket's on. Everything's tight there. Need to loosen this. Rotate that down. Not sure what this is for. Don't remember. Left it there for a reason. So there's that. Replace this little guy that goes to the thermostat water pump. This whole thing can just get replaced. Came with new seals on it. Shop DAP. Shout out to them. Made sure this was tight. This was tight. This was tight. Um, I think that's for the dipstick. Um, what else are we about to do? I'm going to toss in this knock sensor real quick. Tighten that down. And in that same bag, I labeled a coolant temp sensor, which I believe is going to be this. So we'll pull off this little guy. And uh, tighten that in. What else? And from there, we'll do the balance shafts, I think. I need to put these little intake runners into something. Uh, eat all this carbon off. Got my rockers and stuff up in that oil still sitting. Um, yeah, maybe I'll even get the little guy that sits right here and get the crank bolt in to hold it. Cut off some of this dang extra sealant down here. Let's do a bunch of small things. Let's do what we can. Progress is progress. All right, so we got the knock sensor in. It's 8 nm plus. Uh, 90 degree turn, so that's in there. This is routed the way it's supposed to be. Got the new coolant uh, or the head temperature sensor in, I guess. Don't really remember what goes in all these spots. Well, those don't count. I guess it's just like some brackets. I the hoses going there. I don't know. So many things. So many things. But like I said, small progress. 
making moves. About to uh, move this bracket real quick, and then I think from here, I don't know, I need to clean up this alternator. I want to see if I can just toss these injectors in real quick. Um, the more holes I can cover up, the better. I could probably throw this water pump on too, honestly. We'll see. I got to disassemble the new one and made it with the old one because the new one isn't completely new. I don't know. Let's do things. So I just looked up um, all of the stuff for the injectors, like the install and the book. And uh, let's see how they name label be. They said they should just push them by hand, don't lubricate them, make sure the area is clean to where it's going into. And that's about it. So I'm going to go, they numbered them. So like this one says four. So I'm just going to put them in order. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, call it a day. And we can move on to the dang balance shafts. And uh, I think we're good to go from there for this video. All right, so I got one in. It's a struggle to get them babies in. So instead of pushing on the block, I decided to get behind the block and kind of pull it in and wiggle it and then it slid right in. So go ahead and show you guys one of these. It, it takes some effort. And I put the little uh, retainer clip things on. I don't know if they're on at the right. No, they have to be. I don't know. Let's give it a little tug. Ugh, it's hard, I'm telling you. There we go. Boom. Two. These two are going to be a pain because there's less room. Oh, oh boy. That's a rough one. I've got this damn table in the way down here. Oh, man. It's hard to, hard to get around here. Cut. All right. So, guys, I'm sitting here taking engine lube, putting it on this flathead and going in this hole where the balance shaft goes and coating uh, the needle bearings and like the bearing surfaces where they're going to ride. This block was cleaned and all that so I want to make sure everything has a little bit of lubrication before uh, we just kind of go in there dry. You know, even though I'm going to um, lube up the shafts themselves, I'm just trying to get some, some extra lube in there, you know. Probably unnecessary, but I'll try and give you guys a look here if it'll even want to focus for us. Okay, grab a good light. Kind of, let's see. Yeah, you kind of see there's a bearing in the way back, and you got like bearing surface there in the middle, and then a, like a bearing surface here. So, went ahead and did that. This side did the same thing. Can you see it? Kind of sort of. This one you can see through the other side because this one connects to the uh, little cog that runs the water pump. So, you can see my rods in there. But yeah, lube these babies up. There's a sleeve that goes in this side which is right here. This is the old one. I got a new one. This one's kind of deformed. I'll show you guys then, but yeah, lube. Here we are, guys. Says the lube up these bearings real nice. Give her some love. Lots of it. It does say to replace these, so if later on my balance shafts explode at 8,200 RPM, I'm to blame. Um, some more here. Lube up the tail area. Gonna sit on that surface. On this end, that's where the little screw goes in to hold the uh, what I say, a little cog gear thing for the water pump. And it doesn't look like it needs it right here, but I'm gonna throw a little bit on there because it looks like it got hot at one point. All right, I'm gonna throw this in. This spins individually. There's a timing mark on here. If you guys can see that. That timing mark is very uh, important. So, the timing marked one will be the intake side. You guys see that? Oh, oh well. Either way, it's a little black dot right there. There you go. Now you see it. Timing mark. Boom. I'm gonna slide this in. Hopefully, it. Uh, forget what to say. Which way does it say to go? Look. With it like this, I guess. I don't think it really matters. No. I should have moved the engine so you can see better. Boom, right into place. Nice. Now, this other side, like I said, requires that uh, 
that black thing. So let me take these nasty ass gloves off and find it. I'll shove that other one in to find out what screws I use. So this is for the exhaust side. This is the old one. This is the new one. You can tell in color and this one's like kind of, see how like some of those are like bent and ate up. So that's why we're replacing it. It's nothing but a piece of plastic. It doesn't even say it goes on a specific way. Looks like all the holes are the same size. The only thing is there's like a notch. Can you see it? There's a little notch there. So that doesn't say anything about it. Whatever. Just slide on in. Alright, so I put that little guy in there. I don't really want to pull it all the way out, but it just, just sits in there. Like I said, that little notch doesn't mean anything, I don't think. The book doesn't say anything, so I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, go ahead and pull this other one out. It's funny, I did all this like intensive like um, labeling and all this, so I know where everything went. And here it comes to the balance shafts. I labeled them the opposite. Labeled the intake, the exhaust, and the exhaust, the intake. Did I just break that? Oh boy. Well, that's broken. We're gonna have to overnight one of those. Might as well do two, right? Since mm -hmm. they both need one. Well, that's me, guys. This is how uh, this is how things go. You try and get things done, and the universe just says no. So let's go back in the package, and I can do the proper research, figure out what bolts go to these. That freaking sucks. Maybe it was meant to be. Maybe it would have not exploded, you know. Yeah. Well, look. Yeah, they just snap clean right there at the opposite side. Huh. Hopefully they don't get messed up in shipping. All right, well, I'm gonna bag this back up. Um, that's it for this video, I guess. Next week comes all the rest of the shit I need to get the timing done. I guess I can, can put the new studs in, put the rockers in and whatnot, get the turbo on, get the, I guess I got a bunch of other little stuff I can get done and just timing will basically be like the last thing. So and we'll get the, Trains out this weekend. If it's warm enough, get them painted yellow. Um, valve cover came back, or not back, but I saw pictures of it today. Looks amazing. Um, exhaust looks amazing. Let me go pick those up Saturday. Dang, that sucked. I can't believe it just. I jinxed myself. All right, well, that's all I got for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Check out all the links in the description. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the flip flop.